Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to share several strategies for navigating your workbook using hyperlinks to quickly locate and go to a specific worksheet inside your workbook. I'll also show you how to take advantage of Excel's name cells and name ranges to go to a specific cell in a specific worksheet. As you know, Excel files are called workbooks, and inside each workbook you can create as many worksheets as you like. Each worksheet is designed to contain specific discrete information, for example, territory sales by region, or monthly or quarterly budgets, or product line sales. I do recommend that you create a specific name for each worksheet. Don't use Sheet 1, Sheet 2. Make it a name that you will remember. And I also like to color code the tabs on each worksheet. By color coding each worksheet, it makes it very easy for me to spot the active worksheet. The color is just the strip at the bottom of the active worksheet. Many of my clients will use 20 or more worksheets and they will ask my help for finding specific information inside the worksheet. This is one strategy that I recommend. In this case, I've created a new worksheet called Download or Dashboard. And I've created some simple text here. For example, when I want to go to the Mid-Atlantic worksheet, what I will do is use the keyboard shortcut Control-K to insert a hyperlink. Control K will work across the Office platform. This will work inside Word or PowerPoint. So in this case, notice that I want to choose a place in the worksheet. And in this case, I select one of my main worksheets, in this case, Mid-Atlantic. Click OK. And now notice that the text has changed. When I click on the hyperlink in the dashboard worksheet, this will take me to cell A1 inside the Mid-Atlantic worksheet. Let's try another one. Go back to dashboard. Let's create a hyperlink for Gulf Coast. The keyboard shortcut is Control K. Notice in this dialog box the place in the document I want to go to the Gulf Coast, which I have named as a worksheet. Click OK. And now this takes me to cell A1 inside the Gulf Coast worksheet. What if I want to go to a specific cell other than A1 in a specific worksheet? Well, in this case, let's say that I'm interested in tracking sales for day 11 inside the running total worksheet. I'll highlight the cell region that I want, go up to the name box, and call this day 11. Now, when we name cells or name regions inside Excel, we must begin with a letter, and we cannot use any spaces. Hit Enter. Now this becomes a named reference. So any cell or any worksheet, when I go to the drop down next to the name box, and I want to go to a specific name cell or name region, I just click it. And and it takes me, in this case, to the running total workbook to the region that I called day 11. Let's try another one with a hyperlink. First, let's name this as a region. We'll call it day 17. Go up to the name box, day 17. Start with a letter, no spaces, hit enter. Now we'll go back to our dashboard, type in some text, link to day 17. And now use the control K shortcut for the hyperlink place in the document. Now that I have named ranges, notice that define names appear. So for day 17, click OK, click OK, and I go there. So either using the drop down next to the name box to take me to a specific cell or create hyperlinks and go to cell A1 in a specific worksheet. Well, there you have it. We'll see you on the next Tips and Time Savers.